To process X and Y need to access a critical section. Consider the following synchronization construct used by both the processes. Here variable P and variable Q are shared variable and both are initialized to false. Which one of the following statements is true? We need to find whether mutual exclusion is guaranteed and whether deadlock is prevented. Variable P and variable Q are shared variables used to synchronize the two processes, process X and process Y. If process X needs to enter the critical section, it sets the variable variable P equals true. And process X can enter the critical section if variable Q equals true. Suppose variable Q equals true. This statement is already executed by process Y. So now since variable Q equals true, process X can enter the critical section. So if process X is inside the critical section means variable P is true and variable Q is true. Now suppose process Y got the processor again and it checks the condition to enter the critical section. The condition is variable P should be true. Now since variable P is true, process Y can also enter the critical section. So two processes are inside the critical section at the same time. So mutual exclusion is not guaranteed. Now what about deadlock? Is there a situation such as the two variables are false at the same time and two processes need to enter the critical section and are waiting for each other in their while loop? No, such a condition never occur, hence deadlock doesn't occur. It prevents deadlock but it never guarantees mutual exclusion. So the answer is A, it prevents deadlock but fails to guarantee mutual exclusion. Two processes P1 and P2 need to access a critical section of code. Consider the following synchronization construct used by the processor. Here once one and once two are shared variables which are initialized to false. Which one of the following statements is true about the construct? It doesn't ensure mutual exclusion, no bounded fate. There is strict alternation between the processor. It does not prevent deadlock but ensures mutual exclusion. First, let's see whether mutual exclusion is guaranteed. If P1 wishes to enter the critical section, it sets its variable once 1 equals true. Similarly, if P2 wishes to enter the critical section, it sets its variable once 2 equals true. And P1 can enter the critical section only if once 2 equals false. Similarly, P2 can enter the critical section only if once 1 equals false. Now suppose P2 doesn't wish to enter critical section. P1 needs to enter the critical section. It sets its variable once 1 equals true. And since 1, 2 equals false, P1 entered the critical section. While P1 is inside the critical section, P2 needs to enter the critical section. So it sets its variable once 2 equals true. But since once 1 equals true, even if P2 tries to enter the critical section, it cannot. So if P1 is inside the critical section, once 1 equals true, thus P1 cannot enter the critical section. Similarly, if P2 is inside the critical section, it means once 2 equals true. And even if P1 tries to enter the critical section, it cannot. So the first statement is false. It ensures mutual exclusion. What about bounded weights? 
Suppose P1 exited from the critical section. Now it set the variable 1, 1 equals false. Again, if P1 wishes to enter the critical section, since the other flag is true, this process will not be allowed to enter the critical section. I mean, once a process made a request to enter the critical section, it doesn't happen that the other process is given chance again and again to enter the critical section. So there is bounded waiting. So second statement is also false. Now what about strict alternation between the processes? Suppose now P2 is inside the critical section. P2 exited from the critical section. Hence wants to equals false. Again P2 needs to enter the critical section. P1 doesn't wish to enter the critical section. Then P2 can enter the critical section since the other variable is false. So as long as this process doesn't wish to enter the critical section, this process can enter the critical section again and again. There is no strict alternation between the processes. But what about deadlock? Is there a condition such as both the flags are set to true at the same time and both the processes are waiting for each other to enter the critical section? Suppose P1 executed the first statement once 1 equals true. After that, suppose the processor got preempted and P2 got the processor. P2 also wishes to enter the critical section. Now wants 2 equals true. But since once 1 equals true, P2 waits in the while loop. It cannot enter the critical section. After some time, the processor get preempted. P1 get the processor. Now P1 also waits in the while loop because wants 2 is also true. So both the flags are set to true at the same time and both the processes are waiting for each other to enter the critical section leading to a condition of deadlock. So the answer is D. It does not prevent deadlock. There is chance for deadlock but there is mutual exclusion. Now with the same algorithm consider the question. This solution is always deadlock free, never deadlock free. Sometimes deadlock free, never guarantee mutual exclusion. We have seen that this algorithm guarantees mutual exclusion and there is deadlock. But whether the deadlock occur always, no. Only in cases of both the flags are set to true at the same time. In such cases, deadlock can occur. So the answer is C. Sometimes deadlock free. Sometimes there can be deadlock, sometimes not. Consider Peterson's algorithm for mutual exclusion between two concurrent processes I and J. The program executed by process is shown below. For the program to guarantee mutual exclusion, the predicate P in the while loop should be. In the previous question, we have seen that when the flags are set to true by both the processes, it can lead to a condition called deadlock. So Peterson's algorithm, in addition to the flag variables, make use of one turn variables. So let the processes be process 0 and process 1. If process 0 wishes to enter the critical section, it set its flag flag 0 to true and then it gives a turn to the other process. Similarly, if P1 needs to enter the critical section, it will set the flag flag 1 to true and it gives a turn to the other process. So in the while loop, if the other flag is false, then the process can directly enter the critical section. And if the flag is true, then it should check for one more condition, check the turn variable. If P0 finds that, turn equals 1 mean flag of 1 is already executed by p1 and now turn is 1 means turn equals 0 is executed by p1 prior to p0 so the next chance will be given to p1 so this process will wait in the while loop similarly p1 if finds that flag of 0 is true it mean p0 has already executed flag 0 equals true and if now turn equals 0 means this is the last last execution on turn variable so p0 has already executed this statement on turn variable so give a chance to p0 p1 will wait in the while loop so the answer is 
the condition is if flag of j equals true and turn equals j then the process should wait